Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kynes Rake as the Ottomans, let us continue on from where we last left off. So we're at war with, uh, Bulgaria. Um, and, we, like, we should be doing fine. You're gonna try to attack us one more time. The OHF starts falling apart. Uh, shocked by the sudden departure of their leader, his refusal to embark a worthy successor, factions started to form within the party. Broadly speaking, split between the hardliners under Ishit Pasha, the Democrats after Ali Put Pasha, and the military establishment under Fezi Pasha. Uh, the Democrats under Ali Pasha and the military establishment under... Oh, okay, I already read that. Many of the other party members have decided to side with either of the three, mostly watching the sidelines. Um, Ali Fuat Pasha, portraying a version of modernization based on multicultural system within the democracy at every level, as by some of the hardliners seen as a traitor to the revolution they are supposed to be bringing to the nation, and especially his programs of decentralization and loosen state control. I received much more op uh, opposition from within the party. Former Brigade, uh, Brigade General Kazmi Kadbir, however... And others such as Rif Pasha see his message uh, in the future of the state and the only way to avoid decay in full dictatorship. In their camp under the still insecure leadership of Ejmet Pasha, plans are still made to stick close to the plans uttered by the Grand Vizier about progressive vanguard leading a nation to a new era and a strong guiding hand of the, by the state until the Ottoman people are ready for self-government. Sort of indicate that even though the position of Ismet within the camp is still shaky, many military line party members have shown their preference for this approach. Again, we gotta, we're gonna save. We wanna... I mean, we want the military to coup. The leadership of Inmit Pasha. I mean, we want Feza Pasha. But he's not showing up as an option. Which might mean that we've already screwed it up. In, w in which case, this might just turn into like a regular audience playthrough. But we'll kind of see. Okay, 96, 97, 98, and as soon as you're done attacking us, we immediately counterattack. Are you still the air superiority? Assuming our planes are actually in position. Yeah, they should be more than okay. Northern Nation is at 55.3. You've got a lot of defense here. You know, actually, I'll be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna see exactly what we need to do and see if I chose the wrong option there. No, it does seem like we did take the uh, the right leader there. So at some point, the Democrats will leave the party, and at that point, we'll have a coup d'état. Which seems like uh, what's going to happen here. Who are you guys? Why is Iberia... Why do you... Oh, because they took over these territories here. Morocco and French Republic took over uh, their colonies. Okay, understandable. The Democrats have left the OHF. This is exactly what we're waiting for. Not expectedly, the appointment of Ijmet Pasha as new party leader has led to a great resentment among, from the Liberal Party members. The hardest course that seems now to dominate within the party has... Former close associates of Mustafa Kamil, such as Ali Fat Pasha, Kamil Pasha, and others forced to abandon the OFH, they helped form and work together with former rival Kesmik uh, Karabekar. Secretary General of the Party, Recep Bey, has already openly condemned the new party, who is currently going by the name of the Democratic Party, a clear commit comment on the authoritarian style of the OHF, and is trying to turn public opinion against them. Aware that the window of opportunity is rapidly closing, and the current dominance of the OHF or Parliament is unlikely to last, he's also been pressured Ismet to tighten his belt, Shutting down this upstart party and centralized state around the OHF before their majority in both parliament and the army starts to decay. Well, I'm glad that we're still, um... The point of no return. The OHF is not is not the only organization hit by the sudden departure of the Grand Vizier, as the lack of leadership is starting to cause great troubles across the lands. The organization responsible for the assassination is still at large, and many are questioning how the... Is it, the Islet I and Miatiza failed to catastrophically, def failed so catastrophically, catastrophically in defending the Grand Vizier. Rumors of conspiracy reaching the upper echelons of the eternal state are spreading quickly among fo as former friends look at each other in suspicion. Reza Pasha, Secretary General of the Party, has therefore been pushed. Uh, Ijmet Pasha, in fact, the so-called maintain, maintain, 
maintenance of public order decree, which would give nine limitless power to the Grand Vizier. Seen by many as a party is a way to permanently shut down any attempts of opposition, and the next step in combining party and state, this can be regarded as a path to no return, it's likely that the po political scene will take decades to recover from the damage it could cause. I mean, our breakthrough here is so garbage. But I mean, attacking here also is not going to do too much, I think. Like, we make our combat with 160, put a decent amount of units into this, but even then, maybe continuing to war Bulgaria was a mistake. Who, who would have known? I think I have desert training. How many men have we lost so far? 16,000 against 34,000. How much manpower do you guys actually have? Less than what we do. Fezzi Pasha announced his ambitions. Not only the chief of staff of the Ottoman army, but also hero of the Wildkrieg, Fezzi Pasha has announced his ambition to enter politics fully. The move by the Pasha, a longtime friend and former colleague of the late Mustafa Kamil, is one is by many seen as an unexpected. Seen as unexpected, as man was not showing much inclination to join the political battlefield, preferring a real one. And is very much a testament of the fraternal relationship held by the OHF and the Ottoman army. Recent whispers among the upper echelons of the party have it, however, that Camille called it uh, that Camille called them to his side just for his ultimate departure and instructed him to lead both the party and the Ottoman nation as a whole further down the path they both envisioned. Going in, however, against the loosely kept rule barring officers from holding both positions in the army and army and parliament, it remains unclear whether his newly announced candidacy for important leadership will also include an early retirement from his former position. Known as a, as a reasonable but also disciplined man, some fear that he may be steering the nation down a more authoritarian path with closer relationship between the army and the state. Of course, he's going to take over party leadership. It's what we need in times like this. How much manpower do we have? We have 33. We're getting a little bit more because our war support at least is increasing. And the military launches a coup! What many fear would come... Low disk space. Okay, fine. You want me to do this? I'll do this in the middle of a goddamn episode. Um, Middle of middle of the episode. Launch steam. Well, we'll uninstall the first The first game I see is getting yeeted. Okay, library. Uh, you. Actually, no, you. Not, not Victoria 2. I need Victoria 2. Manage. Uninstall. Uninstall. Fights tight spaces. It was a cool little game, but I don't think we're going to be playing it again anytime soon. Uninstall you. And uninstall you as well. There we should. You have enough. You have enough. Next, uh, baby, enough disk space now. I hope so. What is weird? Let me let me just take a look. This PC. Yeah, three gigabytes free. I really probably should get like a new hard drive. Okay, so military launches the coup. What many fear would come true would have comments confirmed earlier today as Fezzi Pasha has officially declared a state of emergency, postponing election indefinitely, including parliament until further notice. I'm um, having both the army and a large part of the OFN network on his side. It seems unlikely that this will be the only, um, will only be for a short duration. And many fear that a military dictatorship may be here to stay after the assassination of the Grand Vizier only a few weeks earlier. To counter possible resistance in the Elder Velius, the Al Walis have been recalled to the capital to discuss further policy and likely be released by military men loyal to the new regime. Over in Constantine itself, Ismet Pasha has been appointed Grand Vizier to ensure steady hand in day-to-day -day affairs, but the political circles it is very clear that most has been already appointed to the position as a puppet of Fenzi's regime. Okay, we're now, uh... Good old-fashioned military dictatorship. We want to get our way down to lifting a state of emergency. Let's recall the Walis. Can we, like, end this war? You're not the war leader of the losing side. I mean, I'm sure we're technically winning. We're 37% in favor. Military take controls of the media. Lose some ability, but get some more support. Give me more guns, please, and thank you. Thing is, their defense is, like, too high. 
Entrenchment, 40%. What if we just do my favorite maneuver? Which is just, um... What if we just abandon the south? And let the AI flood into here? As long as we control the Black Sea, we should be more or less okay. Combine this fleet. Put you in charge of it. We don't need you guys to do anything, though. Expansion of the Greek Merchant Navy. I don't think we actually care about that too much. What we want is... No, stop this. Okay, maintenance is the public order law. A solution of the uh, immunity of sitting representatives and the grant executive powers necessary to, to thoroughly remove all possible opposition to the former Grand Vizier. The maintenance public order law was enforced through imperial decree earlier today. Granted Marshall and I endless authority and complete si completely sidelining Parliament for as long as the nation remains in crisis dictated by the Marshal. An opportunity has presented itself to the OHF to effectively eradicate all remaining opposition to their designs. Many desperados, veterans, and former members of the CUP have already disappeared off the grid in fear of getting dragged into complete complicity concerning the plot, while others have already taken the, the coward's way out. Collect Al Bay, one of the individuals who reportedly shot himself after Jeremandre broke down the door of his home, whilst others, such as Kerry Kamel, have left the capital in a hurry to escape arrest. Men, members of the HIF aren't spared either, as a wave of arrests targeting them for possible complicity, even though none of them have seen have any solid connection to the plot. Shaking up the capital. New paper is not uh, following a party line or shut down. Training, military training exercises is cancelled. Others are temporarily put on leave, and residents of the Grand Vizier put under close guard 24-7, as paranoia or some see it political opportunism takes hold of the nation. Okay, lovely. Maintenance of order law has been passed. Centralized tax collection. Dawn of an uh, Ottoman Res the Renaissance. I think one of our people just got murdered. I'm not too sure. Yeah, as long as we can control these ports, I don't care how far they get into our territory. Dub the tribunals of progress, uh, though the special emergency measures, the number of tribunals have been set up in Constantinople, is being bursa to persecute those possible involved in the assassination of the Grand Vizier. Chaired by Baldali, a former uh, lieutenant colonel of the Ottoman army and former CUP member himself, the list of men associated with the conspiracy keeps growing by the day as the megalomania and paranoia of the military establishment has reached new highs. Trial with a combination of charges, rage around complicity in the assassination, treason of the state, abandonment of duty, and more. It seems like that trials are you more... But use more as political play to silence the opposition rather than punish those responsible for the death of the Pasha. Okay. Fantastic. Get our troops where they need to be. And you don't need to attack. We just need the Tribunal Progress Military Command. Although evidence is of complicity is scarce for almost all of these brought before the judge. There remains clear truth and charges for many of them harbor resentments to see the Pasha encounter early demise either out of opposition to the OHF, abandonment during the closing stages of the Vild Creek, or because of a close association with the former CUP. Only seven men on the list, however, were able to get caught by Jeremandre, as many others as a part of the country shortly after their failed attempt. They are all guilty! I don't care about army experience in the slightest. Okay, so we're going to march towards Constantinople, but again, that's kind of what we want. Constantinople's fallen. We need to take Burgrass. That actually is a city that we do need. Tribals of Progress, Opposition, Leadership. They're all guilty. Okay, the Wallies will be recalled very, very soon. Again, they take over our territory here. It doesn't really matter. Give me 100 political power. I 
How are supplies over here, by the way? They're completely fine. I can't do a breakthrough attack quite yet, but we can see that even getting the troops out of here... They're, yeah, sure, they're moving into Anatolia now, but that really is not a big deal. But I will, just in case, have a fallback line here. I mean, once we break through here, we go take Sophia. Like, this is always a nice thing to do against the AI. They will always... They'll expand even over here, and if it eventually means that they're going to, like, lose in the grand, in the long run. Like, we can actually... Security the Violets. Yeah, get a few adjustments. Won't hurt anybody. Do we need both of these? Yes. So get both of these guys going right now. Yeah, I mean, Bulgaria, you're sending a lot of troops over here. At this point, I don't think we're going to get any events about the war ending. We, all, we also only have, like, a year until the uh, the war with Arabia basically fires off. Okay, you guys should join the International. Not a big surprise there. Okay, you're at 90%. Aircraft are really not where they want to be, at least not right now. Okay, let's move our troops closer. Actually, if we just don't take Burgross, they and we go like this, those troops actually can't supply themselves, which is funny. So we go like this, that basically cuts the Bulgarian army in half. We don't really lose anything. I mean, we, the only thing we actually lose is the little bit of production from this region. But it doesn't, that actually doesn't matter that much. Okay, Turk and Bogras. Move your way towards Sofia. You go take this city. You go up and around like this. You guys all combine into one big army like that. Even if you can't control all the land, it's not really a big deal. Okay, you guys come down to here. We've already effectively cut all these troops off from, um, supplies. I mean, I guess they, they have one... I guess they have this port... No, no, like that port connects here, I think. I think they're all technically cut off from supplies right now. Which works out nicely for us. Yeah, this is city air officers complain about the position. Everybody gets free promotions. What? Although the armament, armament military is open to all ethnicities of the empire, the upper caste military establishment has remained almost entirely in Turkish hands. Um, to take the intent of Arab officers who see the invisible glass ceiling. Now that the parliament has been terribly dismissed and Arab de deputies no longer have a way to express their concerns, some of these officers have hoped to play a little more important role in the military establishment. Uh, in the military administration, so far with little success. We lose a lot of political power, but we get some stability. Just give me some army... You know, we don't need such drastic maneuvers. Again, this, um... Service clear war in Austria. I mean, go take Sophia. That should, I think, just be the end of the war. Okay, Sophia's fallen. Is that not the end of Bulgaria? Right, eight percent. Okay, you submit your resignation. Uh, decorated veteran of the Vildkrieg. 
He's not happy about the current position of the, uh, the, the country he's taken. I mean, that's understandable. Don't appreciate it, though. Okay, they're thinking about Constantinople. And there we go, but Gators capitulated. The good old strategy of just let the AI walk past you works very well. Even though I think we did take more casualties than we probably should have. Yeah, you guys can go here. You guys go on this border. Bulgaria is now a firm part of our empire. Also, we have not been researching something there for who knows how long. What do you actually want me to research? Regulate Shiite pilgrims. Iran will hate us. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't care if I don't care if Iran hates us. It's really not a big deal. Massacre in Al Krenet. Order the Syrian levies to stand down. It makes that sort of it's funny enough, it actually makes I think this decrease, not the military government. But I think it's a little bit funny. Okay, Bulgaria. We will liberate Bulgaria under an independent country as a not as independent, quote unquote. Boris the third. Welcome. See, in, in the end, we always win. Also, you're glowing, which I don't know why, which scares me a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay to be a little scared every once in a while. Okay, the Empire celebrated Eid, get a little bit of political power out of that, thank you. We're not making any support equipment. We can make some basic support equipment, not a huge deal. Did we capture any of them from... We did capture a lot of guns from Bulgaria, so that was nice. So actually, with that, we can probably cut down production here a little bit. Do something like this. The Cult of the Marshal. And then we will go down to you. Never a man of much public dis uh, public display. The popularity of the Marshal amongst the Turkish troops has increased tremendously lately as his dedication to the punish of murderers of the beloved Ghazi has been received exponentially well. Or exceptionally well. Originated amongst the Constantine Garrison, a soldier's song honoring the Marshal seems to spread to most of the Turkish divisions by now and has received well by the, by the Marshal himself. Um, Marshall, here we are, the song of an interesting addition to military music, uh, repertoire, uh, which many of the older songs referring to the lengthy and costly campaigns in Yemen or other tragic events in the military history of the Empire. The army salutes its leader. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to uh, end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now do a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.